welcome, welcome everyone to the most number one YouTube channel in all of YouTube. And today, I'm going to go over an older computer. It's a Dell XPS 730. Normally, I don't get excited about older computers, especially a Dell. But this one's kind of... This one's kind of special. Uh, I believe this is about the 2007, maybe 2008 era. And back then, this would have been a um, this would have been a really awesome computer. So I don't know exactly what's in this yet. I haven't been able to. Um, well, I could have tried to power it on. I haven't even done that yet, but there's no hard drives in it. And, um, so I don't know exactly what's, what's in it. But, this computer was slated for the dumpster. My uh, daughter's boyfriend owns a, um, a junk removal business. And, you know, they go to people's houses and clean out their attics, their basements, their garages, what have you, stuff like that. So, he went to somebody's house and, uh, you know, they were like, yeah, take this out of here. And, um, so, thankfully he knew enough to not throw this out. And so he brought it over to me and he says, hey, you want this? So, fuck yeah, I'll take that. You know. Alright, by today's standards, this might not be that great. But, by all means, you could. St this is still a very usable uh, PC, even, in, even today. So, I'm going over it right now. I am, right now I'm preparing... Um, I'm going to put these hard drives in it, at least one of them. These are old. These are from my current computer. Um, I had my uh, OS um, loaded on these. These were rated together, and um, but you know, we're talking between the two of them, we were talking only 240 gigs. These drives are about six years old. And they're, they're still, like, in, in excellent condition. So right now, I'm just copying. I already did the OS on one of the drives. So that one's uh, currently up and running. And now I'm just copying my other hard drive over to this new SSD. And then I'm going to use, you know, the old hard drives out of there. And these SSDs. So I'm, I'm getting there. I'm almost almost done copying over my uh, final bit of uh, stuff here. And when that's done, I'm going to put one of the SSDs in here and um, attempt to uh, turn it on and uh, load it up. OS onto it. I'm probably going to go with Windows 10. Maybe Windows 7. I don't know. We'll see. But, um... I really feel like this computer is worth, uh... worth saving. So I might use it as a... Upstairs in my living room I currently have, like, a media PC up there. And it's, um, actually probably similar... To what this one has in it. Like I said, I'm not quite sure what this one has in it. I just know it's a, I think it's a Core 2 Quad. And that one has the uh, Quad Extreme processor in it from back in the day. Um, this one has two. Sorry, sorry about the, uh, the jump cut here, but um, my phone fucked up and it stopped recording. Anyways, this one has two um, GeForce uh, 
8800s in it in SLI so that that's kind of neat um, so I was thinking about taking some of the better parts that I have in my computer upstairs that I'm currently using as my media PC and putting them in here but then I was like no nah, you know what I'll, I'll, it'll ruin the authenticity so I think I'm gonna keep this you know all original except of course um, it's getting new hard drives but other than that I'm gonna keep it all original with the original um, graphics cards you know the processor I got that I got the extreme processor but fuck it I'm gonna keep the uh, original one in here I doubt it's uh, the extreme edition in here um, and the memory I got way better memory that I could slap in here but again I want to keep it original as original as possible so the only thing um, I will be uh, adding to this is uh, an SSD so I guess um, I'll be back and once I pop the hard drive in here I'll be back and we'll see if this thing powers on and once I get the OS loaded we'll see uh, exactly what kind of processor is in here and uh, what else might be going on and, and see how well it runs so we'll be back all right we're back um, so I powered it up and um, I'm about to throw an operating system on it but I figured we check real quick just to see what's uh, in here so I mean not bad we got a uh, quad Q9450 not too bad I'll take that we got four gigs of memory you know not too shabby for 2007 and uh, like I said we got the uh, NVIDIA 8800 GTs in there dual GTs in there so that's it's not too shabby so I'm gonna attempt to throw uh, Windows 10 on here and see how it goes with drivers if uh, I can get drivers pretty easily if not I may just go back to the original OS that was on here which is um, Windows Vista, you know, that would keep it nice and original, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes, and, uh, so yeah, I'll be back, we'll see what happens. Alright, we're back again, and the, uh, XPS is up and running, as of right now, I got Windows 10 on it, um, so most of the drivers are found, um, let's see here. And it's pretty snappy, I gotta say. It's pretty snappy with that uh, old SSD I slapped in there. Let's go to Device Manager. So it needs the uh, drivers for um, the NVIDIA card. So that's no big deal. I'm already downloading those. And um, let's see, there's a... Um, this right here, multimedia controller. I believe it's some kind of um, capture card that's in here. And so that's the only thing I'm missing. I don't know if I'll be able to find drivers for that or not, but uh, we'll see. It'd be cool if I could um, get that working under um, Windows 10. So, um, so again, we got the uh, Core 2 Quad, the Q9450, not bad, not too shabby, got the memory. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with this, it's, it's, running, it's running good, seems pretty snappy. Um, I'm not going to complain, uh, the only... <laughs> Now, when these, back when these first came out, I had no idea. I seen them, you know, I seen them online when they first came out. You know, I seen pictures and stuff. 
but I had no idea they were this freaking huge. This thing definitely weighs over 50 pounds. It's got to weigh over 50 pounds. And it's huge. Like, if you compare it to, like, a regular desktop of that era, this thing towers over it. It's, it's fucking big, man. And, um, like, I had no idea. Because I only ever saw pictures. I wasn't, you know, interested enough in it to watch videos or reviews or anything. So saw some pictures, and I was like, eh, the Dell. Who cares? Um... And at the time, this computer would have costed, um, you know, depending on how you had it configured, anywhere between three and four thousand dollars, which is insane. Because back when this came out, I had built a computer that same year, and I had spent um, I had spent fifteen hundred, and everything in my computer was better except for the processor um, which I only had a uh, a core 2 duo uh, it was a 3 gigahertz processor it wasn't nothing uh, fancy I didn't have the quad so this definitely had a better processor but when you compare you know fifteen hundred dollars to three thousand dollars I think I did pretty good um, building my own but um, still man I'm, I'm happy to have this and um, still haven't decided if I'm going to keep uh, Windows 10 on it or not. You know, maybe just for authenticity, I might put Vista on because I actually have a legit uh, copy of Vista I could throw on here. So, we'll see. But as of right now, everything seems to be running smooth and, and good. So, um, that's it. Uh, free Dell XPS. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell I'm going to do with it, but uh, I have it. And I uh, just wanted to make a quick video about it. And, um, you know, who knows? Maybe uh, in the future, uh, this, might, this computer might become a collector's item, man. You know, some of the old school computers, like... Back, back in the 80s and shit. Some of those are collector's items, man. Some of those fuckers go for some some hefty change. Like, we're talking... Um, shit, what the fuck was it? It was like one of the first uh, computers that you that was like portable. It had like a little like 5-inch screen. And it, it was probably about the size of this fucking thing. And they called it portable, but... What was that? I think it was a Commodore. I think it was a Commodore. I don't know if it was the first portable one, but it was... The one I was looking at was a Commodore, and it was portable, and uh, it was selling for like $400. People were bidding on it, and um, I think it sold for four something. So that's pretty expensive for a computer from the 80s. So uh, who knows? I'll take care of this. You know, maybe maybe uh, put it away. Maybe somebody will want to buy it and. <laughs> 10 years and give me $400 for it. I was, I was looking online, I mean, the people are try, trying to get a couple hundred for these right now, but um, I'm not, I'm not going to sell it. I, I just think it's cool to have it. So anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, one more uh, quick update before I close out this video. So it's uh, all back together. I got all the drivers in. It's got Windows 10 going on it. Everything's working. It's pretty snappy. So let's see how long it takes this thing to boot up. Not too shabby. I don't know how long that was. Maybe uh, 30 seconds. 
and let's see here, let's go to, uh, sorry, I'm very disorganized. Let's go to the uh, system here. Let's go to device manager, and as you can see, there is no problems. All the devices are working. Um, that multimedia thing, I'm not sure if it was that capture card in the back or not. I think it may have been this, but after I uh, updated Windows 10 and everything, that just started working. And this is a thing I'm talking about. Right um, there. This thing here, I think it's some kind of uh, capture card. Like this and this. I think uh, I haven't used it yet, but um, might be some kind of uh, capture device. Would be, that would be cool because then I could like plug in old gaming systems and you know, like a Super Nintendo or something and catch the footage off of it, but, um, so I haven't gotten around to playing with it yet, but I'm, I'm assuming it works. Um, I think maybe after installing all the, uh, NVIDIA drivers, um, and that started working, so, I don't know, I'm pretty happy with this thing. You know what, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty snappy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Things start up pretty, uh, pretty quick for what it is. Um, it's, it's a great little computer, man. And you can still even do some, some gaming on it today. Maybe nothing, uh, hardcore, but, uh, not a bad, uh, not a bad little computer. Or, I say little. It's fucking giant. Anyways, that's it. Um got any feedback on this thing uh let me know leave a comment below thanks for watching